After a while, working with my uncle at the ice house, sitting in the cab of that musty 1947 international pickup truck, I'd see him sometime just looking, not saying a word to me, just looking. And, and, and I didn't know what he was looking at because there was nothing to see. But he had a vision inside of his head that was not controlled by anybody else. And it was that vision that drove him to do the things that he did. He acted upon his own dreams, and I was there to be part of it. I mean, I was there to take the 300-pound block of ice and to cut it into 150, 75, and 50 pounds. I was there with him to, to wait on the customers. And, and I was there when we'd go to Hollandale to get the ice and, and bring it back. This man was always doing what he was dreaming about, and he gave me no slack time. I had to do the same.